All righty, Adam, thank you so much for giving me your time and, and coming having a chat with me here on the, I guess, the Life With Options uh, video series, podcast, whatever we want to call it. I haven't quite worked it out yet, but um, another Perth boy living in Sydney, I think that's probably the one thing that we've got in common, but uh, yeah, yeah. Give, me a, give me a bit of a background on yourself. Like, what did you used to do back in Perth and uh, I guess what brought you to Sydney and, and we'll dive into a bit of the other topics. Yeah, awesome. Cheers, Brett. Well, really, in the lot, what brought me to Sydney and what I was doing in Perth is all aligned. You know, I came back to Perth. I was traveling for a few years in Canada and, you know, I decided to actually come back. I was living the time of my life, um, but I wanted to come back and try to build myself up. So to the point where I can travel indefinitely without having to worry about money. Yep. And from then, I've been focusing, you know, what was the online marketing, which you see a lot of people doing now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, and, yeah, and you know what? I mean, for the last four years, I was doing that, or well, three years, I was doing that in Perth. And I uh, just recently moved to Sydney because I had a job opportunity that was, you know, giving me a lot of free time, but also paying quite well, yep. which I took advantage of that to focus on this. And, you know, for the last year, I've just been improving and honing my skills and going for a lot of personal growth and self-development in Sydney. And as you know, going to Sydney from Perth, a lot of growth is required. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, I know it's been a, yeah, it's been one of the steepest learning curves I've ever done uh, yeah. moving away here. It's definitely a completely different city, but I'm sure, like myself, it's it's one thing you wouldn't change, that's for sure. No, absolutely not. I mean, it's always been a challenge, but and it's always been a little bit uncomfortable. But, you know, you know, if I was comfortable, I wouldn't be progressing. So I like having that slight discomfort. It keeps me moving forward. Yeah, absolutely. And I guess um, one of the topics that, we'll do, that we're going to dive into a little bit later, but I think it's, it's very relevant right now because it's at the, top of, the forefront of my mind is all about you know, self-connection. I know the journey for me being here in Sydney, it's been a, an opportunity to really get to know myself a lot more and I guess put myself outside of my comfort zone and, um, and that sort of, so like, how's that journey been for yourself? Like, um, as far as getting to know yourself and how you operate more so? Uh, well, in Sydney, for the last 12 months, it's been pretty much a big emotional roller coaster. Lots of highs, lots of lows. Spent quite a bit of time in Europe, so a lot of it was actually out of Sydney. True. Um, and, and in Hawaii, uh, which is really cool. But um, it's all been one big personal growth. But, you know, gone from the comfort of being home around your friends, your family, uh, into, into a city that's actually, you know, very expensive to live in, you know, very hard to, you know, break through the crowd. And it took a long time to kind of figure myself out all over again. It's like rebuilding myself from the ground up. Yep. Uh, you know, just, and then you, you start noticing over time, especially living with people that you haven't lived with or in a totally new environment, you know, you start finding all these little tweaks, all the way you react and just all these uh, emotions and stuff from all, taking this whole new environment. You know, for a while I was a little bit dopey, just trying, trying to fan from it all try and get it all in and you know it was overwhelming but uh you know progressing through it building through it you know i've always got the option to go back but to me that's always feeling like i'm giving up mm. so you know there's no reason to go back unless um unless i want to stop growing really you know just go back into that bubble that comfort zone which isn't the uh which you know in my opinion in regards to growth and personal development if you're not moving forward you're going backwards so you know, if you're stagnating, you're never staying. In this, you're never really stagnating. You're just going backwards. You know, yeah. everything's always changing. So, yeah, I don't know if I kind of went a bit off, a bit on a tangent then, but no, that's all right, mate. We're, wherever we go with this conversation is perfect. Obviously, we've got a couple of uh, points that we'll stay on track with, but I just yeah. want to dive into that a little bit more. Like as you said, as far as um, really getting to know yourself, I guess uh, for people like my intention with this, uh, this podcast is or the, the video series is really to, uh, I guess, open people's eyes to, to other ways and, um, and other things, whether it be the, the online business space or also, uh, the self connection side of things as well. So you mentioned about, um, you know, all of the challenging times, like how would you, what I guess was your, or is your coping mechanism? And that might still be in a, a development phase, um, but when you have those challenging moments, like what's your, uh, what's your way of, of moving through that? Um, yeah, good question. And honestly, the biggest way is I know it's going to get better again. The, like, it's just the way life is, right? You know, you can never always be going up. There is going to be a point where you're going down. And when you, when you, you know, 
accept that you're at this down point. You just got to get through it until you get back up because that up is coming back. And you know, that's what it's like. So I always have that knowledge that it's only temporary. And as long as I keep progressing, I keep taking actions. Yeah. I'm going to, I'm going to get to where I want to get to. And it's been proof every time, every time I've had a goal and aim for it, even if I go really down, uh, like, I'm like, Oh, this is shit. Like, sorry. I don't know. Sorry. You're good, man. I, I hate, I hate life. You know, it's like, I'm going to give up and just mess up quit. Um, a few weeks later, everything's solved, got no more problems and I'm back up top, you know? So, yeah. And the whole point behind that is, is to, when you are down is to shorten that time. That's, that's the skill now. And if, then make when you're up longer and you keep doing that. But in life, you're always going to be up and down. Yeah, absolutely. It's just and, and you got to accept that too. And you got to know that. Yeah, no, definitely. And that's one of the things that I, I go into with the uh, part self mastery program around like under, identifying your triggers. Cause when it's exactly what you're saying there to be able to shorten that time frame is being able to recognize when you're actually going into it and recognizing from a past experience as to how that ended out last time. So you get that opportunity at the very, very start to maybe allow it to play out a little bit, but maybe not as long as it did last time because yeah. you're like, okay, I'm not going to, I'm not going to play it, that victim role quite so long. this time. And, yeah, exactly. You don't want to victim myself. And it doesn't necessarily have to be a bad thing, right? Mm. Because when you, when you, when I said before, when you are down, you're not comfortable, right? And when you're not comfortable, you're pushing yourself, you're doing whatever it takes to get out of that. Like, yes feeling like after which means you can use that you can utilize that feeling to grow move forward in the direction you want to go now when you're if you're up the whole time right you, you just you're lazy you're having a great time you're probably partying twice a lot more you know like you just you, you're not you're not really going hard with what your goals are you now until you get a little bit uncomfortable yeah yeah so you can utilize it it doesn't have to be a bad thing it is normal to go up and down this is for me this is kind of the way i look at it mm. when i when i am down i utilize that to make me move forward yeah and it's a good way as well i know for myself it's a case of um it almost tests me how serious i am about the goals that i'm chasing yeah um, exactly. in those moments it's like no 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 i'm actually quite serious about this and i'm going to get back up and and keep moving forward okay the last thing i tried didn't quite work out um and just being able to push through it as, as well. And I guess the, the reason why I, I highlight all of the, the self-connection side of things so much is because uh, I know your journey with the, the online space and, and that side as well. And, you know, when you do obviously step into that, as I'm sure you'll, you'll mention about in the moment, like you do really uh, put yourself out on a limb and you, you, you really, you know, commit to it to the point where uh, you're going to struggle at times. And no matter how much support you've got around you, it's not going to necessarily be an easy journey to be able to achieve the things that you, that you're going after. And um, yeah. So just flowing from that, like how's that been with, with the journey? I guess it's been part of what you've been highlighting there as it is. Yeah. In regards to the online. Yeah. Of it, yeah. Um, my personal experience with online um, started like genuinely in Perth with most people did. It was in network marketing, mm. um, which, you know, like for me, my goal when I originally came back from Canada was to, you know, build a passive income online. That's always been the goal. Um, yeah. and, you know, three years later, I'm still going at it. Um, so, but starting, starting out was, it was weird because, you know, when I first started, I was super excited, super keen. I figured it was the answer. Like very first network marketing company, uh, and well, I literally talked to everybody. I called off everyone. I was on the streets wearing like a badge, like a fake snake ski patch, interviewing people. <laughs> I work for a company, um, which is fun, you know. And, you know, I didn't really get any results. Mm. Um, I don't know if I was excited or I didn't really have the skills. I was definitely, like, mentally, I felt like I was excited enough to get results. But regards to the skill level, I didn't have a clue what I was doing. I was actually annoying a lot of people. Yeah. But in regards to that time, right, I've, um, you know, I don't regret it at all because I've learned a lot in terms of, well, it wasn't a waste. It was kind of like, you know, that school of hard knocks. I've learned how to deal with people. I've learned how to connect with people. I've learned how to talk with people. And, I'm, and I do a lot of sales um, online and offline, and I'm really good at it through that experience and going through that rejection and going through those times and, 
you know, to the point that three years later, I haven't really stopped trying to achieve it. And to the point now, in the last 12 months, I'm getting pretty, uh, as we've talked behind the scenes, pretty good uh, momentum in regards to all my efforts now. That I've got um, pretty much, I've got people coming to me. I'm not going to them. Yeah. Um, my like, sales are coming through daily. Uh, yeah. And, you know, uh, it's always what I wanted. And, you know, and still not going to stop though, because you never want to. You never want to just stop, right? Because then it will just all disappear. Yeah. And for me, I will, I want the first, so the journey was, first part, got really excited about it, really keen, didn't know how to do it, annoyed a lot of people, as we all do. Um, yeah. You know, talking to your friends. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Don't worry, I, have a, I went 10x on that, uh, uh, which is funny. I did it really hard, but... Uh, Lost some, uh, lost some, you know, that momentum from that without getting the results. So for a while, I wasn't as excited, and I kind of burnt through my network of people. Mm. But but by then, I knew what to do. Yeah. So then it came to the point where I had to combine both, right? I needed the excitement and the skill, and I needed to combine it with the type of person I am. Yeah. And in terms of the, I mean, regards to online marketing, there's many ways to do it, and for me, at first, I originally thought it was just, you know, write, your, write a list, call your friends and family, um, you know, you know, hit up ad brand people on Facebook. You know, I haven't called a friend or family in regards to a business opportunity in the last two years. I yeah. haven't posted, I never post on Facebook anymore. Yep. Um, but, you know, as we've gone through stuff, um, I found a way of marketing that fits my personality. Mm. You know, and a lot of people, you know, you know, might be great at Facebook, but they might be great, you know, their personal network. A lot of people do get really good results for that, but it's not one shoe fits all. And, you know, and you got to kind of discover that type of, in regards to marketing, you got to kind of discover who you are and how you want to do it and what you, what works for you, right? What flows with you. Yeah. No, that's, that's genuinely how, uh, how I've been figuring it all out. Uh, if, that, <laughs> if that helps. <laughs> It does. And obviously the one thing that didn't quite um, sit on there is that the, I guess the education company that we did get involved with as well. And yeah, um, we've obviously learned a lot through their structured training and, um, and that sort, which, um, and also the network of people that you meet through that, because like yourself, uh, my understanding of well, my network marketing experience was very similar. I pissed off a lot of people <laughs> through that process. And, um, but it, you know, that's, that's all that they taught, but uh, there is so much more uh, to it. And I guess uh, like we were talking before about just cause you, you're, I guess, marketing one particular product or service. Uh, but once you actually understand the skills, and this is the one thing that really attracted to me to, to that particular business or the education company was that once you've learned those skills, they're very universal. You can use them to uh, leverage the internet for anything and um and i know you've you've branched out to a few different areas recently and um and that's where you're getting some extra success and, and things from as well and um definitely that idea of not having to go and talk to your friends or uh call the family members or anything like that for a, a home party or something is um yeah yeah a quite a comforting thing Exactly. I mean, it doesn't matter if that's what you like to do, and that, and that can definitely work for some people. It works for a lot yeah. of people. But if it's not what you want to do, um, it's not how you want to do it. There are better ways. And regards to this education company, uh, you know, just with the structure, the actually step by step, and actually kind of being open to a different way of doing things yeah. that wasn't really available. I always knew, especially with regards to digital marketing. I never considered that as the same level as network marketing, like yeah. two different things for me. And I always knew there was a way to do it. And, you know, with this company, um, I've, learned, I've learned a lot, and, you know, and not even that, the community is what you said. The community is incredible. Mm. A whole, whole lot of successful people. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so a whole lot of <laughs> and, and they're very, very open with the way they do things. And, you know, when, what I've really learned recently uh, it's taken me a long time to actually figure that out is literally have harass people that are killing it and learn from them. Because if you, if you can learn from them uh, and doing literally just model what they're doing, yeah, you're going to get results to the point, but not, not just 
hey, watch them on Facebook, actually reach out to them, call them, you know, actually speak to them, become mates with them because, you know, yeah. for me, it's always been a systematic approach to getting results, right? You do this, do that equals that. And I've always been trying to figure out that formula. Yeah. And, and I can never, and, you know, if you're trying to figure it out on your own and you've never had that, those results before, um, the formula doesn't exist in your head. No, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, so if you connect with somebody who has that formula, they're going to show you and then yeah. you're going to get the results. It's not, it is that simple and it took me almost four years to figure that out. So... Yeah, I agree with you. And it's at the same time, it's very surprising, uh, you know, these guys that are earning uh, very, very big money, whether it's multiple six or even seven figures, they're very, uh, once you obviously build that connection with them, they're, they're very uh, eager to, well, I'd say eager, yeah, to, to help you out. Because, you know, obviously, if you're showing the, the enthusiasm to learn and to grow and, and to chase your own dreams and, uh, and that sort of thing, they're, they're, probably seeing a bit of themselves in, in your actions. So um, yeah. that's and, definitely fast tracking the process for myself as well. Gen genuinely people like helping people, right? Especially mm. if, you, if you become mates with them. Um, I'm not just saying become like famous, but like literally con connect with people, right? Yeah, you absolutely. Know, to tell them your story and, you know, let them know where you're at. And people will help you. I mean, I personally like helping people. Like people come and ask me how to do this, when I do that. I usually take five minutes down my day and have a little chat with them, give them a call, prefer calls. Yeah. Um, and then, yeah, I just show them. I give them my answer to their questions and the best of my ability. Or if I can't answer them, I connect them with people who can do it, real people that can do it, yeah. depend, depending on what they want. So. Yeah, no, absolutely. And I guess sort of uh, now that we've kind of looked at the, I guess the, the self-connection and um, how that sort of played out, the, the marketing side of things, now that you've had that last four years of growth, like what do you see the next sort of five to 10 years, knowing what you know now and then projecting forward, like what, what do you see in that sort of five to 10 year range? In my, my personal experience yeah. or what I plan on. So I'm pretty excited for the future. Mm. I mean, I've had a year of growth in Sydney. Still can't. I'm still. I'm pretty excited to actually, you know, move <laughs> as well. As I'm a traveller. Yeah. Um, so you know, part of me is like maybe staying in Australia. Might be going to Europe for about six months. This is just a short-term plan, travel plan. Yep. Uh, but I have recently come to the conclusion, like for a while, I was genuinely battling within myself. You know, maybe I should get like a job. Maybe I should get a nine-to-five. You know. Um, mm -hmm. But then, you know, I've seen people like doing jobs that they don't love about their passion. And, you know, like this was a point where I was going for a down moment, right? Yep. And I was like, I was like, I started applying for jobs and stuff. I didn't know why. I just felt like I kind of wanted the recognition because I knew I was good. But, you know, with this, you don't really get too much recognition when you're at work and at home every day, kind of doing the grind. But, um, yep. Yeah, but then there's a point, it's like, why am I doing this? You know, for like, you know, a job that is vacation bound, um, doesn't really give me that growth I'm looking for, doesn't progress me in that direction. And I started asking the questions like, why, why do I want to do this? And I couldn't figure out a good reason besides the money, but just feeling secure and having, you know, a little bit of recognition. So, yeah, I ended up making the decision, a proper decision, that I decided I'm never going to be that type of person who's, like, I'm unemployable. I haven't had a nine-to-five since I was 21, um, which is always exciting. But I'm never going to be that person that is going, I can't do that. It's not me. It just won't, it won't sync up with me. So, I have made that decision, you know, to take the online game, to take not even that, just personal branding, self-development and all that really, really seriously. Yep. And I am focusing on that. And over time, I want to, you know, build a brand around myself in a way that I can, you know, make a big impact on others mm. in terms, you know, like maybe shortening the struggle period I went through, doing whatever I can. Yep. Similar, similar way you're doing this, which you want, you want to help people. Absolutely. And, for, you know, for pleasure, I'd want to do that from everywhere in the world. Yes. You know, kind of being that literal digital nomad, you know, going, yeah. going to these places, you know, connecting with people from different cultures, you know, always having that, you know, that educated mindset to maybe like go to Spain and learn Spanish or, and then learn that, then 
no, but always been growing, not just traveling and partying everywhere. No, I mean, I always to be able to indulge in other cultures and, you know, and just grow and, you know, eventually become the best version of myself and having the ability to show others how to do the same. That's, yeah. kind of, that's kind of where I'm going, moving towards in the next five, ten years. Um, yeah. And that was a pretty, that was a big moment for me. That was a, um, that decision when I did that, it was actually a few months ago. Yep. It was like, it was like that. And, you know, and I, uh, that's it. You know, I've burnt the bridge off, you know, the typical uh, nine to fiver, you know, so doing the crew. Just, um, I just want to highlight that because the way that you said that, there's a high level of self awareness and self connection that you were just sort of brushing over very, very quickly uh, in the way that you made that decision. And I just want to, uh, because one of the things I talk about is your intuition as well. And, and I guess for some people who are not necessarily connected with their intuition, that can seem a little bit odd. I just want you to, if you can, just try and put some words as to where that, that knowingness comes from for yourself. Like how does that sort of show up for you? Uh, that's a tricky, that's a tricky <laughs> question. <laughs> Yeah, for me, it was, it was just, I, I don't know, I just knew. Like, when I was sitting down, when I was, like, sitting in, in the office I'm sitting in, um, I was doing the grind, you know, I was looking at these jobs, I was like, none of this inspires me. And then I guess a lot of it comes to us asking the right questions, right? Yep. You know, and I started asking these questions, you know, like, who do I want to be, right? And how do I want to live my life? Like, how do I want to impact people? And none of the questions led to, you know, those other options, you know, yep. you know, and for me, I've got nothing against the nine to five. I keep saying, I don't want to do the nine to five, yada, yada, nothing yep. against it. Yep. Um, everyone has their own definition of success. Um, mm -hmm. A lot of people take a lot, a lot longer to figure out what that definition is. Right. Uh, some people, you know, excel in the, um, in, in a job, right? That's the way they're meant to be and they do excel. And there are other people, there's other people, you know, like it doesn't, it doesn't, they don't fit into that system. And I know a lot of people that don't fit into that system, but they don't realize there's other options and you just seem kind of stagnating, right? When they, when you see they've got a lot more potential. Yeah. And, you know, and a lot, a long time I was battling with myself. What was the type of person I was, you know, was I this entrepreneurial guy or was I, should I get a job? Or like, Part of me has always figured I might end up just going to it, um, going into a, uh, you know, just getting a job, doing the grind, you know, buying a house. Kind of, I just kind of part of me was always that was in my head. But you know, that that few months ago, I was going for it and just thinking about it, I was getting really anxious. And then I eventually just made the decision like I'm never going to live that type of life. Yeah. And by doing that, literally, it just snapped. Like all that's gone. And I, I'm just, and since then I've been going hard, I'm going full bolt with every, um, and, and a lot of attraction too. I've had, had a few, um, like a bit of an income boost recently. So and it's all that. So I'm all kind of working out. Yeah. Uh, but before then it was, you know, I was just kind of like, when you don't make a decision, that's the decision in itself, right? And then it's True. kind of usually less than favorable. Yeah, and what you what you really want, and I was that, that's exactly what happened to me for a long time. Um, but yeah, I, I just sat down. and I was like, why? Wow. The questions led to the answer, and you know, and the answer wasn't that. And that's when I was like, I can't do it. Never going to do it. Yeah, and doing and doing that, I felt so relieved. Yeah, it's almost. Would you say it's almost like a um, like the answer just kind of slaps you in the face or is it for you? Like there's a gut instinct and that just sort of like, that's where it comes from. Or, um, I know for me, it sometimes shows up in two ways. Sometimes it's like the, as you say, like the light bulb, you might be doing something else and it's like, Oh wait, there's that answer. And all of a sudden it's just showing up and, and that's the definitive answer and there is no question to it. Yeah. I mean, in the end, I, like, I've never made that decision when I, when I said that to myself, it was quite empowering. Mm. And from and from then it was just like this is the answer, uh, straight to it. Like and every all these other indecisions, all these other decisions to go down a different path, completely washed away. Yeah. And a lot, of, you know, a lot of these experts they talk about, you know, to move forward you got to burn all bridges behind you, right? Yeah. 
and you know you gotta i mean there's always that level of risk and there's always a little uncertainty i mean but you know what jim carrey says like the biggest risk you know if you're going to fail is something you don't like you could potentially fail something you know i might as well take a risk at something you do like absolutely could be yeah. more. Yeah. <laughs> exactly <laughs> So I guess uh, like along this journey, uh, and this is a bit of a curly question and I'm intrigued as to what you're going to answer. Uh, yeah. What would you say is the most important skill out of self connection? So like obviously connecting with yourself and getting to know you, how you operate or like the online marketing skills. Now I do appreciate that they go hand in hand, but if you could choose one, which one would you choose as the more important? Definitely self connection. Uh, the skills genuinely come after the connection with you know what you're doing, so they do go in hand in hand. But I believe if you don't, if you're not, I, uh, you know, when we were like we, we were in Hawaii, this is when we really first met, and all the guys were talking about you know the way you present yourself is the way you present your business now, in regards to online. Yeah. Um, if you if you're not in tune, you're not in sync. You know, you got all these worries, you got all these anxieties behind you. you you're not going to really progress. Yep. Until, you get, until you get all that sorted, right? So, I mean, once you feel good, once you're well positioned mentally, like spiritually, emotionally, uh, you can you can just move forward. Um, and skills come from that, right? And skills come from taking action. And you know, to take action, you got to be you got to be connected, right? You got you got to know what you want. Absolutely, and there's also that level of intuition that comes uh, into yeah, taking exactly. actions as well. Sometimes. I don't necessarily know why I'm taking the action that I'm taking, but it's just what my intuition is saying. So I'm just going with it and just see what, see what comes from it and see what's next. So I, yeah, I, yeah, I agree with the way you answer that question. I was curious yeah. what way you're going to go. Oh, cool. No, that, that's, a, that's a good question. I like that question. So, um, um, but I believe personal development results in success. Um, and uh, if you don't have that personal growth, you need to go and get that personal growth. And a lot of it can be by, you know, by even just taking action and failing. Yeah. You can, you can learn a lot from that. So absolutely. Um, never be afraid to, you know, do stuff. Yeah. And I think well, one thing that I was confronted with in the two years of me being here in Sydney, and I must admit the first 12 months of me being here, I was moving back to Perth on multiple occasions. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> but the one thing, even though I knew it uh, consciously, um, and theoretically, whilst living back in Perth, but obviously being in that environment, it was um, just the comfort zone and it, it just, yeah. I know, I know. Was I the know. fact, <laughs> I guess the, the thing was the, like, just because you've moved to a new city doesn't necessarily mean that your problems have gone away no. because you're still with you. And that's where I got really confronted with, uh, the, the requirement to really connect and understand myself to a deeper level. Um, and that's the same thing as you're saying with like with your business, you know, you're always going to be there. So once you've got you out of the way and all of your story and everything like that, then you're going to be able to be moving forward and chasing the dreams and the online space or whatever. So I, I assume that you probably have had a similar experience being here in Sydney. Yeah, it's emotional. It's been an emotional roller coaster. Yeah. I've had ups and downs, ups and downs. Um, but it's good. It's, it has been, it's been a really good year in, in the end. I've, um, I've learned a lot. Yeah. So I don't regret it one bit. I mean, you're always going to have these points where you're uncomfortable and, but you're always going to have these points where they're going to make you move forward. Right. Now, if you're in, if you're in comfort zone, you, you're not, you're not moving forward. That's true. Yeah, you, you, you're just not, if you're too comfortable, do something. Yeah. You're not progressing. Yeah. Now we'll start wrapping it up. And I think the, the last question, although you've just kind of highlighted it then, but you're not allowed to use the same wordings that you just have. Okay. <laughs> so like final words for anybody who's listening, like what would you, what sort of like parting words that you would leave them with those that maybe are sort of sitting on the fence, whether it is to take action in the online space or um, is, maybe is, lost and not too sure as to, you know, what, what they're wanting in life and, and that side of things. So what's some final words that you would, yeah, so that's a good question. Um, uh, regards to the online stuff, um, figure out why you want to do it. Mm -hmm. like what, what are your results that you want from it? Once you figured that out, once you really understood what you want to achieve from working online, and it's not, don't say making a lot of money, uh, get deeper. Like, what do you want to do with that money? Like, you know, 
these type of questions. Ask yourself those questions. And once you've done that, find somebody, find a mentor. Mm. And literally, not just an online mentor, like not just an, when I say online mentor, not just a guy on a video that you've never met, connect, re- connect someone, reach out with someone and let them know. And, you know, especially with the online space, they'll be more than happy to teach you if you work with them because they, mm. they, they get paid for it too. If it's like a, uh, yeah, like a little binary or affiliate program. Um, but yeah, find someone to connect with and learn from. But figure, firstly, figure out why you want to do it. Yeah. And no, that's it. <laughs> Very straightforward. Absolutely. I do appreciate uh, there's some lots of great points in there and, and I'm, I'm sure many people will get some value out of this chat. So um, if they want to keep, uh, keep an eye on what you're doing out there, where can they find you? What's... Uh, uh, you can definitely, if you want to message me or contact me, I'll be honest, Facebook is the uh, best form. Uh, I look at my messages about once a day mm-hmm. and I go through them all. Um, or, you know, I've got Instagram too, but if you want to connect with me, definitely on Facebook. I'm guessing we'll leave the uh, link on the page. I'm not too sure. Yeah, I'll put it in the description and also put it on the last, on the last picture so that it's there for everybody to be able to um, pick up. So. Uh, yeah, if you want to put Instagram on there, I'm more than happy to put that on there as well. So yeah, perfect, cool, no, fantastic, and uh, yeah, as always, appreciate your uh, time and uh, yeah, just thanks again. Okay. No, it's good. Yeah, no, I appreciate being on here. It's uh, no it's good. All right, we're gonna wrap it up. I'll speak to you soon. All right, All right. cheers, Brett. Bye.